In this Blender tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can quickly inset faces across a mirror line. What is inset faces? So right now I'm in object mode, and if I tab over to edit mode, and then I select faces, I can see this face and I can press I, and I can inset that face. It's the same thing as if I would do extrude by pressing E, then not do anything, then press S for scale, and then scale that face in. So I can do it that way, but Blender has I for inset faces, so it's kind of like two steps in one. So this is really great because then I can press E and extrude out a form just like this. It's a great way of creating complex geometry in Blender and having enough supporting loops in geometry for these extrusions. But let's click this face. See, when I click this face, this is mirrored with the mirror modifier. And if I press I for inset, suddenly it insets this face. And if I press E, now I have two faces. This may be exactly what you want if you're creating something with eyes. But before you make those eyes, you may want to have a ring going all the way around. So how can we do that? Let me undo those two things. If we press I, Blender gives us some hints at the top of the screen. And it says, boundary on. So if I press B and now boundary is off, I inset the face and then when I extrude it, notice it's all one piece going across that boundary. Then I can press I and I can turn the boundary off and now I have two. So now I can switch back and forth as I need. So this is a great way to be able to inset across a mirror modifier in Blender because sometimes it can be annoying if you don't know why it's not letting you go across. In other software, it works a little bit differently, but the mirror modifier is a great way to be modeling symmetric geometry. Make sure you know how to change the inset tool properties so you can go across the boundary line or the mirror line of a mirror modifier in Blender with the inset tool.